This is your January 2022 energy forecast read by Gaia Chanaya from Soul 33. Happy New Year. We have such a great beginning to the month. As the new year begins, we want to review our life and ensure we're not carrying forward things from the past year into the new year energy of possibilities and hope. It's always a good start to the new year with an exercise of conscious forgiveness. Forgiveness, including forgiving yourself, perhaps for judgment, Others and situations where things were challenging in 2021, forgive all that to be able to move into this new energy of 2022. Ask yourself, who do I need to forgive and what for? Judgment is a big factor in self-forgiveness, so really just forgive yourself even if you're not consciously aware of what that forgiveness is for. This exercise is really important because we are making a rite of passage during this first week of January, setting ourselves up for not being a victim to things that happened to us this year, the people we have in our lives either. And we have to master the ability of being resilient and know what we need to recharge throughout the year. Spend some time reflecting on what you know about yourself so that you can have a better year by being prepared. How can I manage my stress this year? What makes me feel joyful? How can I stay balanced? Know what your strengths are as well. The first week of January, make a decision to expose your gifts and talents this year. Do you know what your gifts and talents are? It's really a year to shine. We want a sense of peace in our hearts and we also want to feel prepared. As the new moon comes in soon, we have this energetic support to feel secure because we've thought about these things, we feel prepared and we know we're ready to step into 2022 exposing our gifts and talents to the world. As the new moon comes in, it's a really beautiful energy with a fresh start with new intentions. New moons are always about new intentions and part of this new moon is accepting who we are and knowing that we are authentically being ourselves and this is why knowing what our gifts and talents are are really really important prior to going into this new moon energy we don't need approval from anyone to be ourselves the new moon will magnify any insecurity so if we spend some time doing the energetic work that is the energy of the first week of January When the new moon comes in, we can spend some time really solidifying the peace that we want to have within ourselves by being authentically us, feeling safe as us, and knowing that we're somewhat prepared with our tools on how to balance ourselves and manage our stress by feeling some joy throughout the year. As the second week of January comes around, we want to spend some extra time in meditation and I support you with meditations through my app by searching Soul 33 on your app stores. And this meditation practice, it isn't easy for many. Uh, The mind is asked to be silent and often the mind's voice is much louder than the heart until we learn to train it through meditation. Now, while meditation should be a daily practice, it doesn't mean that we have to necessarily be sitting in meditation for long periods of time. But one of the many meditation benefits is it stops the momentum of any clouded judgment, which is what will be coming up in the second week of January. And it allows for inner clarity. So this week, we want to honor that inner goddess in us. You know, regardless of what gender you associate yourself with, there is this goddess that's in all of us that is to bring out the divine feminine by increasing our self-care. Don't see any lack of progress in having self-care as part of your feelings of joy. It's actually a opportunity to connect with the deeper part of ourselves and regain an internal momentum that's not ready to start moving in your external life just yet. Trust the feelings this week. Look beyond the surface and see from a higher perspective because there's something to learn about what's happening in your life in the second week of January 
and it's something that's going to help learn from this experience and time alone and meditation will help and everyone's life is different so this is why I support you on the app with exercises that are short to be able to give you that inner clarity. Now, during the third week, there's a beautiful energy, which is really an opportunity for new beginnings. It's a type of energy where wishes come true. So all the preparation that you're doing in the first couple of weeks and solidifying the intentions with the new moon, this week you're going to see some results. And the beauty about life is that energy comes in cycles and often, you know, after a bit of a dip in energy or a harder time, you know, bigger lessons in life, we allow ourselves to surface if we we move away from any victim energy and we can cherish what we have in our lives and the people that we have in our lives. And with this wishes coming true and this new beginning energy, there's a real opportunity for that inner momentum that we carried um, with us during the second week of January into this third week. And the full moon comes in during this third week as well. And it's really a focus on our home and what home means to us. So ask yourself, what does home mean to me? Do I feel safe being myself there? Safety is also taking into consideration If you are safe just exposing your true self, not feeling like you need to hide aspects of yourself from whoever you live with at home if you do. Home is about being safe in your body as well, feeling safe being you. And during this full moon energy, it might bring up some feelings of insecurity around the sense of home, the sense of safety, the sense of security. But that's what the full moon is for. It's for releasing. And everyone's going to be different in what they're releasing. But it's releasing to help you bring about that new beginning. To see the miracles that are coming up in your life that enable you to feel fulfilled in your human journey. Try to avoid taking sides this week. So there might be something that will come up where people are asking you to take a side or you feel like you might have to. Just trust yourself in this time of change. Be on the fence as the higher perspective is going to be something that will show you what the meaning of this is. And don't place blame this week either. Take some time out to really feel into your heart and see the revelations that come based on your feelings post the full moon. There's this real abundance energy. This is part of that miracle new beginning. And this abundance is there for you to be reaped by aligning your heart with your mind. So when these two are working in unison, you will live out your talents and your gifts. And this is what we started to think about at the beginning of the month, to be clear about that. But when one isn't working with the other, when your heart isn't working with your mind or your mind isn't working with your heart, we can often force things to happen or blame people or want to compete with people because we haven't had the expected outcome. If you haven't taken a short holiday this week, it's a really good opportunity to do that. So if you have been waiting or hanging out for that, this third week of January would be a great time. And moving into the final week, the end of the month has some fast paced changes happening and this is to help us align with what we want. There's a really wonderful expansive energy, again a continuation from the third week, which is to create a movement into a more committed state of ourselves. So energy that is supporting our relationships and our purpose. If you are making your way overseas or back home from overseas, this is the month to prepare energetically um, for that experience. You might be preparing to reunite with a loved one and that can bring about feelings of excitement and anxiety as so much of us have changed over the last couple of years and this last year in 2021. So we're being guided to move this week. So keep an eye on what signs you are receiving in terms of what that movement means for you. 
For some, it will be physical movement, like I'm planning on going overseas or moving house. And for a lot of us, it will be internal with all the energy that has moved through us over this month because it's been really um, January, a month of this real movement from evaluating who we are, feeling safe and secure in ourselves, releasing any energy that doesn't serve us, and coming back to this internal movement and external for some. And we'll be overcoming obstacles during this week as well. And this will require a gentle but devoted determination to just work through the obstacles of our feelings or physical obstacles that come up. Of course, life teaches us a lot about the obstacles. Where you can't see alignment is a sign that part of your commitment to yourself is having boundaries and walking away from situations or people. So this week, if those obstacles really can't be worked through after you've done what you can, there might not be alignment there. And part of your commitment, that gentle devotion to yourself is going, okay, I've done all I can. It's time to walk away. So this first month, January 2022, gives us a great energetic movement into the new year. You know, January is the number one. It's a restart. It's a starting again. It's time for reflection. And within this month, there's a lot happening from miracles, from moving through obstacles, from, you know, preparing for the rest of the year. And while everyone's lives have different experiences, just know that January brings about the changes that we will be able to control how we feel and how far we want to go this year, but also that preparation to be more committed to our purpose and feeling safe that there is movement towards what you want. Now, if you're wanting to expand your spiritual knowledge and tune into your intuition, do search Soul 33 on your Play Store, on your App Store. I put up weekly lessons every week, healing meditations. There are digital guidance cards that you can ask for, mini readings. All of this is part of the app. I'll be happy to support you on your spiritual journey. But for now, enjoy your January 2022.